Very good evening from Buckingham Palace, where the extended weekend of celebrations for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee reached its high point earlier today. Well, the answer is pretty clear because it's the pageant master himself. It is Adrian Evans, the brave man who conceived and organised the event. Good to have you with us, Adrian. Good evening. Have you recovered? We're going to talk in a little more detail because I think it's probably a good idea for us to take a look at how the pageant began with his own inimitable style and the three cheers. Adrian, your thoughts when the pageant got underway? How, how, was, how was it going for you? Well, it, it, um, we couldn't have actually done it. And Adrian, you spoke... Uh, uh, in the planning, you know, you plan very meticulously, yeah. but surely, you know, you know that when an event like this takes place, certain elements are not going to go according to plan. How much contingency was there? How much How much did you built in as a kind of contingency plan? We, we, the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, they yeah. were there, they were standing yeah. on the spirit of Chartworth yeah. for a long, long time in, in driving rain yeah. at points. Yeah. But they were so enthusiastic about it and that was yeah. what... Sense of achievement, you know, what, what was the sense? I mean, seven hours, exhausting, you're cold, you're wet, but really, what is your sense of achievement when you look back at the pageant? So, you know, we've actually enjoyed every minute of it, and I think we'll all well. Yeah. Thank well you both very much for now. Thank you. Gary Barlow, who played such an important part in creating last night's concert here. But just before the event got underway, news came through that the Duke of Edinburgh had been taken to hospital and wouldn't be attending the concert. But the word from the palace was clear. The show was to go ahead and the plans were not to change for the Diamond Jubilee concert. Well, it turned out to be even bigger and more spectacular than the Golden Jubilee concert a decade ago. And here's something you haven't seen before, an exclusive view of how the stage and rehearsals came together over the past couple of weeks. We'll start at St Paul's, where the service of Thanksgiving included a piece sung by the Diamond Choir, young choristers from around the UK, specially selected for today's occasion and performing after just a few days of rehearsal. And with